welcome back to my channel let's get to the very 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 horrific experiences that i've had living in kenya the ones that i do not like about kenya so number one theft you guys you guys theft is so serious in nairobi cbd the lower part of cbd that you just don't want to be walking around with your cell phone you don't want to be walking around with your laptop you don't want to be walking around you know freely holding your phone you know talking to your loved one you know so relaxed you just need to be careful let me tell you something that has once happened to me so one time i was coming from school when i was still studying so it was on a sunday afternoon i was just coming from seeing my professor and i just walked from the school because my school is in the cbd so i walked from school to where i get my transport so i boarded a matatu a matatu is the bus or the minivan that they use as public means here so i boarded into one of those and i just sat there relaxed you know as i waited for it to fill up so when it was time for it to go i took out my phone to call my husband and let him know okay i'm on my way you know the minute i took my phone out of my bag just that minute i don't know if this guy was watching me or if this guy had been really 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 targeting me from the time i just entered that matter to just the minute when i wanted to put it on my ear i had a big hand holding my arm pulling my arm i don't know how my phone dropped down i i was just out for some minutes i was so shocked that i never even realized what had happened until i heard people screaming in the bus from that day, I have never, never held my phone in public when I'm anywhere in Nairobi. If I'm holding my bag, I bring it in front of me. Okay? That is how careful you need to be when you're in Nairobi. Another thing that I don't like is the water outages and the rationing. Ooh. And depending on where you live, you will find that you will go for days without water. So if you don't have an extra water storage in that apartment, You'll be, you'll be in real trouble because in some places, they're rushing water from Monday to Thursday. And then from Thursday, say afternoon, until Monday, you will have no water. So you really need to choose well where you stay and the areas that you choose. Be really, really careful and be very much picky when it comes to apartments that do not have big water storages. Okay, and choose your location very, very well. All right. Moving on, moving on, moving along. Are you still there? If you're still there, well, you're a champion. Another thing that I don't like about Kenya, you guys, is the noise. Wow. When I say noise, I mean serious noise. Matatus. Cars, personal cars. People. Hmm? There is just so much noise. Sometimes you just want to be, you know, in such a quiet and peaceful place. Not in some parts of Kenya. The reason I'm saying choose your places very well. Let me tell you another thing. You are in town or you're just walking on the street in some of these areas you are not even thinking of entering a matatu or whatever it is that is just there moving you're just in the local area you hear someone is pulling your arm you will see someone pulling your arm they will pull you until you are at the door of a matatu and they will tell you to go to town by force and you're like i'm not even going there it's that serious sometimes you just need to laugh about it and let them go because if you get angry i mean seriously it doesn't help it just frustrates you for nothing these people are just used to doing that they are called makangas those are the people that you know will tell you which kind of public transport goes to this place which kind of you know matatu you can use another thing that i don't like about kenya is that is that of the fare bus fares and public transports you guys in the morning you can pay a hundred shillings to go to town from wherever you live and at 2 p.m you can pay as low as 30 shillings to go to the same Nairobi from the same place that you live. The same one that somebody else paid 100 shillings for during the morning hours and now it's 30 shillings. In the evening, goes back to 100. You're like 70. They just hike and whatever they want to do with prices, they just do it at any time. So you cannot have a standard price for transport. You cannot plan and say, okay, I'll be going to Nairobi for the whole week so i'll need you know 300 or 500 for the five days you cannot do that because sometimes you pay 150 sometimes you pay 200 sometimes you don't even know what the price will be the following day you know you are never ready for transport here public transport is just a 
hectic thing that you want to use when you are in Kenya, okay? And having your own personal car is another problem because moving on to my next point that I don't like about Kenya is the traffic jam. Traffic in Nairobi is serious, you people. You can stay in traffic for an hour, one hour, 30 minutes, depending on the time that you are traveling, especially when you have to go to Nairobi. Let me tell you my experiences. So I used to work in town, not really in town, outside town, Westlands. So for me to get to Westlands, I, need, I needed to get into public transport from wherever I am to town, and then from there get another one to Westlands, okay? So what happened is I would get into the earliest Matatu, around 6, 6.30. I'm on a Matatu, I'm going to town. But let me tell you something. I used to arrive at work at 9.30, sometimes 10 a.m. And you are supposed to report to work by 8.30. Seriously? Really? Really, guys? That's how I take it is. If you have to go to Nairobi for work, you need to choose your location very well. You need to make sure that you stay in an area that is at least closer to where you work than one that is far out and will require you to be traveling to Nairobi. Okay? It can be really frustrating, especially during the mornings, even in the evening. It can be really frustrating because the same traffic now coming from work to home is the same one that you will find in the evening when you are trying to go back home you are tired you just want to go and relax and you might even get home at 8 p.m is that life no not for me at least <sighs> moving on another thing that i don't like about kenya you guys is the cost of land cost of land especially in areas around nairobi and it's you know localities those areas are very expensive you guys like if you have to buy land around nairobi just be prepared to pay at least twice extra than buying land in an area that is really out of nairobi so and the reason land is so expensive in kenya is because of the real estate business it's really really good here people are just investing in a lot of land some people will buy land just to save it for future because they never know what developments will be happening in an area. So you find that land is so expensive and most of it has already been taken out of the market by people who are just waiting for opportunities, you know? Just, you know, you just sit in your house and you're like, let me find out what areas have land and let me just buy just for the sake of it, you know? And some of us want land to build, you know, just to build our homes, you know, you guys. Stop it, man. So you find a lot of people buying a lot of land just to keep it in their pockets. It's just some investment somewhere, you know, waiting for the future. Hmm. Rich life problems. So I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover for my pros and cons. And another one that is a pro and a con is the weather. Weather here, sometimes weather is just good. Sometimes it gets really, really hot and you're like, what? And sometimes it rains so much such that places flood you cannot even get out of your house you know and the issue with location you guys it's it's really serious when it comes to especially things like weather because some places really flood some people like during this season we have experienced a lot of people with very nice beautiful houses built big mansions that they built in some areas that they never took the time to research on how it gets when it rains a lot you know how it gets you really need to do your research when you are coming to kenya some apartments when you are renting in a certain area you cannot even get out of the house because the whole place is just flooded so the weather here is just a bit funny sometimes it's sometimes you just don't want to stay in kenya but sometimes it's really beautiful it gets very cool very warm it's never cold where i come from we really experience winter when it's winter it freezes cold i've never felt any cold in kenya it's just weather that you can do it sometimes you can just walk up walk around even without a pullover you're good to go you don't even need to wear your scarves and everything weather here is a pro and a con all right guys hope you've enjoyed this video and please look forward to my next videos thank you guys for watching thank you for supporting your girl thank you zifam for continuing to subscribe thank you i really appreciate your support guys and for all my new viewers thank you guys for subscribing i really appreciate you just taking your time and you know pressing that red button it means a lot to me and i appreciate all of you guys we are really 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 having a lot of people joining our family and i'm hopeful that soon soon we will hit that 1000 mark 
and move on guys and just grow our family as big as we all want it to be i'm so grateful for all of you please continue to watch share ask any questions that you have and as we do it <laughs>